none of us are really truly about that life anyway, about cutting any and everything that has the slightest hint of demonic influence. None of us are. Again, you wouldn't be on YouTube right now if you were. You wouldn't be on Google. You, you just wouldn't. You just wouldn't. You couldn't watch anything. You couldn't be on any sort of social. What Christian social media platform are you on? You just you just couldn't. It's just it is that difficult. You'd have to become Amish. And then what we do is we kind of sometimes we pick and choose what's the more egregious things, the things that we don't deal with. And that's the wrong. That's the sin. But if I do that, eh, you know, what? I got to live in this world. OK, what about them? So now let me go ahead and make this plain. The title of this video is Are Christians Hypocrites About Halloween? Not all, but for the most part, yes and amen. Yes and amen. Let me tell you why. How is it that you people, not you, but your neighbor, the person right beside you, someone else, how is it that some of you people are more bothered by a five-year-old in a bunny costume than a 35 year old promoting false prophecies. How is it that you're more bothered, you're more upset by a kid in costume than a grown man dismantling the scriptures? Somebody help me make sense of all of that. How is it that trick or treating is wrong, but tampering with this text, that's nothing wrong. Why is it we should go out and make sure that we, that we go ahead and persecute Everybody that is celebrating Halloween, but we say, let God handle the heretic. Leave him alone. Help me make sense of that. That's the problem that I got a problem with. If we're going to be consistent, listen, trick or treat, trick or treating didn't send anybody to hell. Trick or treating isn't preventing someone from going to heaven. What is, though, when we got these folks out there who are going to say these things, these blasphemous things, and we give a wink and a nod a pass, let God deal with them. Don't call them out. That's the problem. You heretics, uh, they get a pass. Heretics, we leave, matter of fact, if the heretic goes out and starts screaming about how bad Halloween is, we amen him on that. Yeah, he says something good. Meanwhile, did you hear what he said about Jesus? He called Jesus a thought, and we're sitting there worrying about somebody dressed up as Peter Pan. Yeah, we got we, we have a huge problem, church, and Halloween ain't it. These holidays are not it. Not it, but somebody's gonna make another video about how we need to go ahead and stop these people from celebrating Halloween, but you won't stop anybody from celebrating Satan by twisting the scriptures that the Holy Spirit gave us. Won't have a problem with that. Can I give you can I give you Bible? I said I want to give you Bible. Let me go ahead and give remember I didn't write this thing, but I want to give you Bible. Let me give you what Jesus says. He, here's what he said: He says, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees. He says, Hypocrites, for you tie the mint and deal and cumin and have neglected did the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faithfulness. These you ought to have done without neglecting others. Look what he says. You blind guides, straining out a gnat and swallowing a camel. Don't trick or treat. Don't dress up. Have a false prophecy or two or three. Have a vague prophecy. Call someone an apostle. Call someone. That's okay. But it's this right here. This little thing right here. And we got a problem with that. If I put a little extra, by the way, I when we were little, we didn't have we didn't have money to dress up, so we didn't have real costumes. Every year I went as a gypsy because my mother had a scarf. She had makeup to put on little earrings or whatever that she would like clip on or whatever. So I looked like a little gypsy kid, or I would be a a, a a farmer, which really as a little black kid looking like a farmer, oftentimes I kind of end up looking like a little slave. Which that's a whole other story. But all of that, none of that stopped me, preventing me from hearing the gospel. None of it. But when someone distorts the text, leave them alone. Let God deal with them. Who are you to judge? Okay, fine. Who are you to judge a little eight-year-old kid out there with his bag knocking on the door? Who are you to judge a little, the little ghost? Who are you to judge Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin? Who? All of that stuff, but you won't deal with the main thing, as though that's a huge issue. And we're going to listen to all these folks who are casting out demons, talking about what's demonic. But the fact that you just butcher the text, nothing, nothing, nothing non not, uh, demonic about it. They, they literally made statements. I would rather get a false prophecy wrong than not try. I'd rather try and get a prophecy wrong than not try. Uh, that's stupid. 
that is stupid. I would no, you don't want to get any prophecies wrong. How about doing what God said? Don't presume to speak for him. Let's call that out. Let's call that out. So when we deal with the weightier matters, Halloween doesn't look look like anything. If we're about getting people to the cross, Halloween doesn't matter. If we are about speaking the truth through the scriptures, Halloween doesn't matter. One, Halloween shouldn't even measure on the on the on the spiritual Richter scale. It just should not. Because on November the first, what are you going to do? Are you going to be out there spreading the gospel? Are you going to be out there? Are you going to be out there going to the kids who did who you said don't go trick? Are you going to go to them? Are you going to do anything for them? No, I'll make a video. I'll make a statement. Yeah. <laughs> now, cause that, can we be honest though? I saw somebody put this in the script in the, in the chats. How many of you all who are against Halloween? If someone gave you some Halloween candy, you would eat it. I would. I was be, tell the truth, shame the devil. If someone gave you some, <laughs> and you know, and that's good. Dutch, Dutch the Bible thumper, giving out uh, scripture samples on. I, I think that's a one. I think Halloween presents an easy opportunity to share the gospel. It, 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 it's, it's like you got folks coming to your door. Here, I'll give you a candy and I'll give you a track. The kids are going to look at it. They are going to look at it. What they do with it, I don't know. And so we should be wise as the world. We should be wise as the world and utilize it. He didn't say leave the world because leave because else you have to leave the world. No, take part, not in the things of darkness, but you know what you can do? You know what you can do? You can help some folks while they're in darkness rather than you having to go to the strip club because some of y'all might want to go to the strip club and evangelize. Don't do that. But what you can do is be at home when they come to your door, knock on the door. Aren't you so beautiful? Aren't you wonderful? Praise God. And then give them something. Ask them a question. Put something, wrap a track around their candy. They're going to eat it. Somebody says it depends on what candy it is. Yeah. Who, who, is, who is the demon that invented candy corn? That, that person is a heretic. That person is going, it, I'm not going to say he's going to hell, but that, they're just wrong for that. Some, some candies are just wrong, like, like, like black jelly beans, right? Do they even give jelly beans out anymore? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't. Some candies you just shouldn't have. You should have Snickers. <laughs> you do, they even have lemon heads anymore. I'm trying to think. I haven't had candy in a long time. I'm going to give you some candy. I'm going to give me some candy. Uh, not for trick-or-treating, just to sit back and eat it. It'd be a big old bowl of candy when you walk in the door. Is that for trick-or-treating? Nope. That's for daddy. That's for me. But that's a whole other story. But the point of the matter is, guys, if we're going to be upset, fine, fine, fine. If you want to be upset about Halloween, don't be more upset about Halloween than you are about someone going to hell. Don't be upset about these other things as Jesus says, don't, let me put back on the screen. I, again, I didn't write it. I'm just reading it. He says, you blind guides. He says, straining out a gnat and swallowing a camel. You take all the other things. You take all the other stuff, but you won't. Because Halloween in the grand scheme of things is a gnat. This other stuff that we keep talking about, that's the camel. A distorted gospel, that's the camel. False prophecies, that's the camel. These fake um, manifestations of spiritual gifts, that's the camel. Teaching people that they can live a defeated life, that's the camel. Telling somebody that the spirit of the living God living in you is not enough to keep any sort of demonic attacks. No, a man has to come and lay his hands on you. Yeah, that's the camel. Those are the things that we need to worry about. Our job is to uh, affect the world, not leave the world, but to affect the world for Christ. Amen.